Hello, welcome back, beautiful people. Asher Steve here, signing in for another tutorial. Today, we will be discussing about how VTP can be configured in order to simplify the network overhead, in order to help the network administrator to monitor the large network, which can be easily done. So, without much further ado, dear friends, let's kick in. Okay, so we will first create a topology by using the switches, different switches that we have. So let's take one switch, then the other one. Then we will put three switches here. So let's also write our VTP. So VTP is nothing but VLAN trunking protocol. Virtual local area network trunking protocol, that means. So VTP is a very helpful for the administrator to configure so let's uh, put the switches uh, cables here right now so we will use this different switches we will use the cross cable then we also put the pcs for vlan okay so this way like uh, we will be creating two VLANs and uh, in VLANs we will also help uh, this PC to participate in different VLANs. So there are, uh, we will be creating two groups uh, right now here, the VLAN 1 and v uh, VLAN 2 and VLAN 3. So let's make a background for this, uh, like a different group. So this one, this and this, I want in the VLAN 2 and then I want this different color this this and this PCs in VLAN 3 so let's connect the cable alright then this PC this one here we also connect this to the switch then this to the switch again right okay the last one so now that the green one we will consider this one as a VLAN just right here VLAN 2 and this yellow one we will consider as VLAN 3 okay so good everything's work well now uh, let's uh, put our uh, IP address let's set our IP address to class B well, so to dot 16 let's take 10.0 so this will be our network so let's first configure our IP address so IP address we will put as 172.16.10.2 we'll start from 2 20.16.10.1 okay and then we also configure this the other network also like uh, same IP address range so that 3 170.16.10.1 okay and this IP address 16.10.4 10.1 and the other one here also once into the dot 16.10.5 dot 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 the 4 will be same for everyone and this PC once into the dot 16.10.6 dot 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 16.10.1 dot dot the last at PC will configure this one as 7. So the 16.10.7. So to 16.10.1. Okay, so now we have put all the PCs successfully the IP address. Now let's go and start configuring the VLAN in this first switch because we're going to make this one as a server. Okay, so let me write here first the switch. I'm going to make this as a server uh, VTP we'll call the server 
and the second switch we will call this as a ATP client and the last one also ATP client all right so remember there are three VTPs one is server one is client and one is transparent so as of now here we are not using the transparent one we'll use the server server main here the VTP the server uh, in the switches they can advertise they can forward and they can modify that is the server the client they can accept the forwarding advertisement by the server once they learn the updates from the server of this VTP so same thing even the third one will learn the advertisement sent by the uh, VTP server and update in the database so let's go to the first uh, switch here and then we will start configuring so when we go to the CLI and then we give enable here then we go to the config T then we go to this uh, we create VLAN 2 here VLAN 2 we'll call this name as uh, IT then we also create the VLAN 3 then we will name this as uh, accounts okay so our VLAN is created so we will see this so we can use the command call do show VLAN okay so enter and I can see that our VLAN 2 is created here VLAN 3 is also created but the thing is now we have to put the interfaces so let's put the interfaces in this first switch so this uh, one is in VLAN 2 so interface ID is f 0 slash 3 so let's do that so interface f 0 slash 3 then we have to give the switch switch port mod ss then arrow here then switch port ss and this time vlan is 2 okay so we have put the uh, interface f0 slash 3 in the vlan 2 now f0 slash 2 will be in vlan 3 so once more again id f0 slash 2 uh, switch port mode access switch port mode access vlan 3 okay so now we have put the successfully the two interfaces into vlan 2 and 3 now we shall start configuring this uh, vtp so the first thing in the vtp we have to create is like uh, vtp domain cnet.com okay so that will be our domain name as of now okay so now uh, we will give this VTP password so password we will give as a password as of now then okay password is set so now VTP mode server by default the VTP uh, mode is already in server but still then we will just make sure that it is done yes device mode already set to VTP server and it says again so VTP version we will take 2 okay so set so now our VTP is set so now the only thing we have to set is the main route so we are uh, using this trunking protocol so this f0 slash 1 of switch 1 the server and we will tell this is the main route main cable so we have to mention that so we go to the interface f is 0 slash 1 switch port mod yes trunk okay so now this is the trunk we have set already now we will go to the second switch and now we will also configure okay before that let's see first whether our everything is okay so we will see the uh, do show VTP status so that will show us our VTP so yes version 2 is configured 
Revision is 1. Maximum VDAM again is 255. And now number of existing is 7. Now VTP mode operation is 7. Uh, server. Our domain name is VNet. VTP mode is enabled. Okay, so far so good. So now we can also see the uh, VLAN first of all. VLAN do show. VLAN. Alright. So now we can see that our board, the computers are that the interfaces are added into the VLAN. Okay, so now we go to the second switch. And then we go to the CLI and then we give enable once again. And then we go to the config T. And from here we'll just start configuring straight away this uh, VTP domain name we have put as cnet.com and then we will start VTP giving password password and we have given the same one here remember the password and domain have to be same when you're configuring the VTP if not the VTP will not update the database VTP domain once again we will just try that name is cnet.com all right then the VTP password is password wrd yes that is our password VTP version 2 VTP mode client. Okay. So now let's see. Do show VLAN. Okay. So now you can see that it's already updated. Now let's put the pieces into the VLAN. So let's put this one VLAN 3. F0 slash 3. So let's go to this. We will connect that. So interface f is 0 slash 3 then we'll give the switch switch port mod then ss all right the switch port ss vlan and this one is vlan 3 okay now the other one is Four. So switch board mode access. Switch board mode access within two. This one. So four. Yes. So it's done. So you show VLAN. VLAN. Yes. So as you can see that four is added. Three is in three. Three in three VLAN. Yes. Now let's go to the third one so this road will make it drunk so this is uh, 2 f is slash 2 so let's go to this one interface uh, f is uh, slash 2 the switch port mode Okay, now it's done. So we go to the third switch here, and then from here we go set again. We get enable so we can fifty here, and then we go to this uh, VTP domain cnet.com, and then VTP password is has so word yes and then vtp mode is client and vtp version version 2 yes okay so now we will see do show VLAN. okay so now it's updated here also now we will place this PC into the VLAN so let's put this 2 in VLAN 2 f slash 3 
this is evidence of stash free. Okay, so we go here. Interface. That means this interface. F A zero slash three. Enter. Now we have the function by giving this uh, switch port mod SS and switch port SS VLAN. This is VLAN 2. Okay. Now the last PC. That is this one is F0 slash 2. So we go here again, in the face, that is a slash 2, then switchboard mode access, switchboard mode access, VLAN, this one is VLAN 3, enter, ok, so now let's see our, again our results, show LAN, VLAN, show VLAN, so now it's added, so now let's check our connectivity, now the switches we check from here to this it's coming successful this drop this message here it's coming I drop from here to this it's coming successfully what about this one and this it's coming successfully this to this all right what about from here to here all right now let's see between the two villains here to here fail Yes, surely. That is what we want. This is fading. What about from here to here? It's fading. Yes. So now our VTP has been configured successfully. We have divided the two VLAN, VLAN 2 and VLAN 3. So all the green will communicate with each other because they are in the same group. And the yellow one will communicate with each other because they are in the same group. Difference. I hope this uh, video has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you. Please do ask questions if you have any doubts in the comment section below and give your valuable comments on this video so that it will encourage me, inspire me to do more videos even in the days to come. So thank you for everyone for your valuable time and I see you in the next video. Please do subscribe like and share thank you